The following video is informational and does not substitute legal advice from a licensed attorney. Five tips for a successful K-1 fiancé visa embassy interview. The embassy interview is the final step in the fiancé visa application process. The applicant will meet face-to-face -face with a consular officer, usually at the U.S. Embassy located in the applicant's home country. The interview generally lasts 15 to 30 minutes and consists of between 5 and 10 questions. The focus of the questions is for the consular officer to determine if your relationship is bona fide. After the interview, the application for a K-1 fiancé visa is either approved or denied. There is a lot at stake with this interview, so take the time and be prepared. 1. Be confident and calm. Take a breath and realize what you're there for. Appearing nervous or uncomfortable may send unintended signals to the consular officer, who may try to throw you off and confuse you or get you to inadvertently confirm your relationship isn't genuine. If you are truly in love with this person, be confident in your case and you should have nothing to worry about. Understand that this is a stressful process, but you're nearing the end. So, try to have an extra measure of patience. You'll probably be waiting for a certain amount of time. Be conscious that the consular officer is the person who determines your approval. So, be polite, shake his or her hand, and make eye contact as you give brief, confident answers. Don't offer up any more information than is requested as this may seem desperate. 2. Memorize important dates. Spend some time making sure you know important dates and date ranges, such as the day you met your fiancé, his or her birthday, dates of trips you took together, etc. You want these on the tip of your tongue so that you can let them know without hesitation that those dates matter to you. 3. Bring all the proper evidence and forms. If you use Rapid Visa service, the good news is that we will provide you with a detailed, customized checklist of everything you'll need. Be sure to have your supporting items organized and neat. Rapid Visa specializes in providing an excellent, detailed petition so that the consular officer will be all but convinced of your relationship in the five minutes that they review it before your interview. In this case, your interview will probably be brief and easy. Be sure to call or chat with us if you have any specific questions leading up to your embassy interview. Our staff is available seven days a week and extremely experienced in helping our customers know what to expect. Four, dress appropriately. Just like a job interview, appearance and body language are huge factors in how you are sized up. How you dress should send the signal that you take this matter seriously enough to care. Men shouldn't show up in a tuxedo, but also shouldn't show up in a wife-beater shirt and cut-off jeans. Ladies should hide the four Bs, breasts, butts, backs, and bellies. If you were going by a dress code, simply go smart casual. In other words, look sharp without being too formal. Five, be prepared for the questions. Be sure you know all the information in your petition packet like the back of your hand. If your answers are inconsistent with what the consular officer already sees you wrote down in your petition, that won't be a good thing. Keep your answers consistent. Be truthful. Hopefully by this time, you've gotten to know your fiance really well and can confidently answer questions about his or her family, his or her ambitions, etc. If you haven't, perhaps you should spend a bit more time talking about some of these items. You may want to practice your English a bit before the interview as well. Communicating the truth clearly and confidently will go a long way. If you are bumbling around like you don't even speak English well, you will send a signal that you couldn't possibly have a bona fide relationship. Go to rapidvisa.com free to get started today.